everyone, I am back today and I'm going to share with you some of my empties that I've had over the past while, which is funny because since I haven't thrown really anything away because I wanted to do one of these videos, you think I would have a lot more um, products than I do, but I swear, like, this is all of the stuff that I used up and I still think that there should be more stuff, but apparently not okay so i'm just gonna have like a huge glossy box full of stuff that i've used up so i'm just gonna pick and choose and i'm not gonna put them in any order or anything um the first thing that i used up was a sample size of the that gal by benefit i'm sure everyone's seen this this is a face primer i really 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 like this face primer i've never bought a full bottle but i went through these like crazy i do think that it is definitely definitely worth the money because it's amazing and it is a brightening face primer i can't really compare it to anything else that i've used uh i don't think it feels as like if you've used the mac face primer um like it feels like really really soft and so does the hard candy but this one did and it didn't feel really like a face primer where it feels really soft it kind of just absorbs into your skin which i really really liked so definitely recommend that gal if you're looking for a primer for your face a primer for my face and it is my mac matte cream comes in a tube like this i have used i have squished and squished and squished this bottle and i still like have a tiny 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 little bit that i can still get out because i am completely out of face primer as a thing and i'm like too cheap to go pick up something else but um i was watching a i think it was chris crocker uses this face primer no 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 gregory gorgeous uses this face primer and um it was in one of his like starting mac kits like if you were gonna very first pick up mac i'm sorry my phone's going off from facebook um but if you were gonna pick up mac um this would be should be in one of your starter kits i was watching that video and at the time i was trying out tons and tons of different primers for my face and i really 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 at, well at first i liked it and then i hated it and um recently where i ran out of everything i picked it back up again and i loved it again so it's kind of hit or miss really i think it really depends on the time of year um i think i really like this primer in the winter because um it's kind of heavy feeling because it feels really like kind of feels like the hard candy sheer mb primer where it feels kind of heavy um it doesn't really absorb into your skin i think that the that gal would be really really great for summer primer and this is good for winter primer and since we've just we're just now starting to get out of those months of winter and it's starting to warm up um i guess it's a good time for this to run out because i won't have to pick up another one of it until a while and i think this is 20 ish dollars I'm not really for sure, but this lasted me so long because the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit went the longest freaking way. Um, you seriously just need a tiny, tiny bit of this. So it's kind of good bang for your buck because it does come in this tube and it is a 0.84 fluid ounce tube and you need the tiniest little bit on like your pinky finger and you can dab it on and just rub it in and it goes a really long way so it's kind of like more bang for your buck because it's going to last you a while but i still think it's kind of like cake cakier for summer months so i don't think i'd pick this up until like fall comes around there's another primer i have a lot of primers that i've used up because yeah um but anyway this is the hard candy sheer envy primer um you can pick this up at Walmart for what, like $5.99 or something. I really, 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 really love this primer. Um, it's so soft and it's cheap and it's affordable and you can pick this up at Walmart and it's just easier to get than like Mac for me because I have to drive to Lexington to find Mac or I have to order it online. So if I'm like in a pinch for something really, really fast, um, Sheer in or yeah, Sheer NV primer by Hard Candy is really good. There's a new primer out that I want to try. Um, that I saw on someone, someone bought a new primer or they got one in a box box or something and I cannot remember what it's called, but I want to say it's like L'Oreal or something with a new primer. 
You all know what I'm talking about? I even commented on someone's picture on Instagram of it. And I can't even remember who it was or what it was called. But that's the one I want to pick up next. So, um, and it's drugstore. And they told me that it was really, really great. And I can't even remember what it is. But I don't think I'm going to... I think I'm going to pick up that one and still, instead of going to pick up another one of these. Because this is kind of heavy too. It kind of reminds me of um, the MAC one. They're both kind of like a heavier primer. And it says ultra light formula, but I don't think it's really ultra light, to be completely honest. But it's cheap and it's affordable and it's really convenient for me. So, um, and it is 1.6 fluid ounces. This is the very first one that I ever bought. And it's just now running out. Like over a year's worth of use and it's just not running out for me because once again you need the tiniest amount on your face dollar stores beauty eye makeup remover i love trying different makeup removers i'm a really big huge fan of like the towelettes um although i did get the nighttime dollar general makeup remover towelettes the other day and i used all of them up and i threw the thing away I don't know why I did that. But anyway, they suck. They're in a purple thing, and they're like generic for something. But they're, they suck. Don't get them. They're awful. Anyway, it's back to the eye makeup remover. It's oil-free, and it's compared to L'Oreal's eye makeup remover. This stuff sucks, too. I put it on cotton rounds. I put it on um, baby wipes. It sucks. I like literally have to scrub my eyes to get my makeup off. And I hate that because then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like pulling at my skin and I'm going to get wrinkles and I freak out over wrinkles recently because I'm getting older and I'm scared I'm going to get a crap ton of wrinkles and it freaks me out. But, um, I didn't actually use all of this. It actually fell off into my floor with the cap off. So a bunch of it fell out. Um, probably like a fourth of it was left and I used it up just to use it up and get rid of it. Um, there's still a tiny, tiny bit in there, but I, I will never purchase this again. It sucks. Like, it's bad. I hate it. Don't get it. It sucks. And if L'Oreal's eye makeup remover is anything like this, it sucks too. The first one is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Sin. It's my favorite. It's my favorite eyeshadow primer potion by Urban Decay in the color wise. I really, really like their original, and I love Sin. Um... They're my favorites. I've had this bottle for forever, like literally for forever, and there's still a tiny, tiny bit in there. I'm not actually going to throw this away yet, but it's like, you can tell, it's pretty much gone, and you can really, really get a lot of use, or a lot of product out of these better than the little bo uh, genie bottles that they had at one point, because, you know, we always had to pull out the stopper, and then a lot of people cut theirs open, and... I just pulled out the stopper. I never cut mine open. I didn't have, I didn't care that much to get all of it out like that. But with these, you can get all of it out. And um, this would be super easier to cut open because you could just take scissors and snip it right across. But when it comes to primer potions, I've tried a ton. And Urban Decay is always my favorite. It's totally worth $18. I bought numerous ones of these. And actually... I bought a lot of the little tubes like this, the bigger ones. This is the very first one that I bought that was actually in the squeeze tube, and I'm just now getting, like, like using it all up. So, this lasts forever for $18. Definitely worth it, because it's going to last you a good year, if not more. Because you only use a tiny, tiny bit. Um, the next one is, here's another primer potion. It's the little, I got this in a sample box with something else. Maybe I got it in... Um, one of the palettes or something. I can't remember. But um, it's the original. I've used the crap out of it. And I mean, I just said a bunch of stuff about Urban Decay. So it's great, great, great. The next one is... I have two little samples of Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. They're eyelash primer or eyeshadow primer. Love, love, love these. Love, love, love these. Um, I used to not have a really big problem with them creasing. But recently, I don't know if like my eyelids are more oily or something, but they've been increasing a little bit with these and they used to not. Although, I noticed that my eyeshadow goes on so smooth when I use these primers. So it's kind of like, 
I don't know, it's like a 50-50. It's like they kind of crease a little, but it takes a little bit. Probably usually a good six, seven hours, and then I start seeing some creasing. I actually used it today, and I have some creasing, so. Um, and I put my makeup on at like 1 o'clock today, and I worked. So, and it's 9 o'clock now, so. And I started noticing creasing about, I was still at work, so probably... <sighs> Probably, I don't know, maybe five, six, five hours. Five hours into wearing this is when um, I started noticing creasing. And I used to not notice that. So, I don't know. It could be me. It could be different with you. Um, but I still love these. I love, love, love this eyeshadow primer. And um, I would probably pick up one of these in the big bottles. I've never bought a big one yet because I keep getting these small ones. And I take the little stopper out and you can like move your uh, sponge in there. There's still some in these, so I'm going to use up as much of this as I can before I throw them away. The eyeshadows that I've used up. Uh, the first one is a Mary Kay eyeshadow that I purchased off Lisa. I will link, if you're looking to buy Mary Kay, I will link her stuff in the bottom bar because she's the best to buy from, I promise. Um, this one I've used completely up I love this color too. Granite. It reminds me of Urban Decay's Mushroom. I've been using it in place of this because I haven't got a chance to pick up another one of these. Um, so I've been using it. It does remind me a whole lot of Mushroom by Urban Decay. And I absolutely love Mary Kay eyeshadows. They go on so freaking smooth. It is amazing. And they blend so freaking well. It's incredible. Another Mary Kay eyeshadow, and this is another mineral eyeshadow, and it is in um, Polished Stone. Um, Polished Stone is a complete dupe for Verve um, Urban Decay. You can find it in the Naked 2 palette. I have bought, I used up all of my Naked 2 palette Verve. I bought two eyeshadows, single eyeshadows of Verve. I used up those and then Lisa sent me this one and she thought that it was a complete dupe for it and it totally is and I have like the tiniest little bit over there in the corner I'm gonna have to end up like hitting her up and buying another one of those too because by far the best color in the world like of all eyeshadow colors if I only had to pick one it would be this one or like Verve from Urban Decay so definitely 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 and I will have to do another repurchase on that eyeshadow My favorite highlight of all time and it's another Urban Decay product and it is called sellout I've talked about sellout so many times you can tell by the packaging that I haven't bought one of the newer ones yet because this is one of the older like token um, packaging but, um, Sellout is the best highlight color ever, especially for my skin tone. So, if you're a pasty pale like me, um, seriously, check out Sellout because it's amazing. And I haven't had it in forever. And I really, really, like, I've forgotten how amazing it is because I haven't had it in forever and I need to pick it up. But, definitely another repurchase for this. Sellout by Urban Decay. This Hip Duo by L'Oreal and it's called Meta uh, Platinum. Um, I've only hit pan on this side though. I'm not really a big fan of this uh, black because it doesn't, it's like, it's not a really good um, formula for the black, it, but if you want a dupe for this, Urban Decay's Oil Slick is. It's just black with um, sil silver um, glitter in it. But anyways, the pur purpose of this whole duo is the best, the best, best, best silver in the world, if you're looking for a silver eyeshadow, is this eyeshadow that comes in this duo. I actually have it on right now, but it's creasing, so you can't really tell how awesome it is. But it is by far my favorite silver in the absolute entire planet. It is so creamy, like smooth, and it blends so freaking fantastically well. It is absolutely amazing, and I've already bought another one of these. So I'm going to throw this away because, like I said, I'm not a really huge fan of this. And if you want another color for this, Oil Slick by Urban Decay is a dupe for it. I understand that um, this is so much cheaper than Oil Slick, but um, I just don't, I don't like the, the formula on this because it's very, like, gritty. It's very gritty feeling, and I'm not really a fan of that. But the whole thing is totally worth 
the ten dollars that you would pay for that one eyeshadow because I think these hip duos are like ten ninety nine or nine ninety nine but um yeah this one's called platinum I've used two of these up I used mine up and I used up Mia's because Mia sent me hers because she didn't like it or she yeah maybe she, I don't think she liked it but anyway this is the more Pacific moisture bound hydrous um, moisture brown refreshing hydro gel oil free um, this stuff retails for I mean it's like what is it like 80 bucks for one bottle man but I freaking love this moisturizer it is by far my favorite moisturizer in the entire world and I can't even afford it and it makes me really sad and that's why Mia sent me her because she was like I'm not using it here you can have it send her something of mine too and I can't even remember what it was and I'm a horrible friend and forgot to send it to her so Mia if you even remember what that was let me know because I'm sure I think it was something to do with hair because she has a different kind of hair than I do and I can't use it for my hair because it's like colored or whatever um, and she has like really curly hair so maybe it was something to do with that I need to send that to her because I'm being an awful friend um, but yes by far my favorite 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 moisturizer in the world if you can afford this stuff pick it up um, maybe if they have like a sale or something I might be able to get it again but I absolutely love the smell I love the way it sinks into my skin I love the way it makes my skin feel it doesn't leave any oily residue or anything oh god it's just amazing so that is a more Pacific hydrogel the and actually Lisa sent me this too and I've purchased numerous ones of these since then but it is the cover all uh, wet and wild face powder in light pale and it's like the lightest color <clears throat> I absolutely love this face powder I think it has great coverage it's great full coverage like you can build it up or um, you can leave it you know just kind of brush it over or whatever but it's an all I don't I literally put this powder on I don't touch it up the rest of the day at all like I might maybe like if I look maybe tiny bit like a tiny bit um, shiny like in my t-zone I might just take um, the little thing and just kind of like soak up the oil around my nose and stuff but I don't really like reapply it like I just kind of soak stuff up and then it looks fine still I love this powder it's absolutely amazing and I purchased numerous ones of these and for it to be a drugstore really really cheap powder I'm super duper impressed with it like extremely extremely impressed with this so if you're looking for a new powder that's um, convenient and cheap um, this is great it's a great 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 powder it's all I use anymore and I normally used max uh, studio fix powder I don't even use that anymore really I still have uh, one of my compacts of that and I still have powder in it and I've been using these because I love them that much um, speaking of this you also have the foundation maybe Lisa sent me this and I purchased this either way she sent me one or one or the other and I ended up picking up the uh, like either the liquid or the powder in it I think maybe she sent me the liquid foundation anyways great freaking foundation I think this is a great foundation for like spring and summer months um because it's very very lightweight but it's very very good at coverage you can um i think it's like medium to full coverage you can build it up um if you want to but i've used the crap out of this it's all completely gone i went to go purchase another one last night and um they sell this at my dollar store next to my work so i just pick it up there instead of like going to walgreens or whatever but um i think it's like 4.99 and they had all of these out they wasn't there was no more of this color so I couldn't get it but um I absolutely love this I love 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 this foundation this foundation and this powder combined together are freaking amazing I have oily skin well combination skin like in the winter it's dry in the summer it's oily but either way great 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 foundation and powder combo um, if you haven't tried these, try them. They're amazing. Amazing. Gel liner. This is a gel liner from Urban Decay. I have a lot of Urban Decay stuff that I've been talking about tonight. But um, this is the ink for eyes. I don't even think that it comes in this kind of packaging anymore. But this is in Zero, which is black. 
I don't think that this even comes in this packaging anymore. When I first got this, I hated it. I felt like it was very, very oily and it um, would like transfer on my eyelids or I don't know. I just didn't like it really. So I kind of used it and I put it to the side. Well, then I ran out of gel liner and I was like, I'm just going to use it up whether I hate it or not. I paid a butt ton of money for it. I'm just going to use it up. Well, now I freaking love it. It's all completely gone. I have scraped the sides of it. I love this brush that comes with it. It's this little eyeliner brush, which is for some reason I've like pushed it down in there. I need to pull it out. The other side you get a smudge brush. I love this brush. Like this is going to be my go-to eyeliner brush. I absolutely love it. And I love the little mirror on the side here. So I just flip it around and it's like perfect for doing your eyeliner and getting like really really close up sometimes um sometimes it still does transfer a little bit i don't know i think they've changed i don't think they make them like this anymore um because i've had this for a little bit so maybe it might be different now but sometimes i would use the eyeliner and then i would take the smudge brush and dip it into oil slick and i would just pat it over um the eyeliner and kind of smudge it out a little bit and that worked, worked really well but i <sighs> I don't know I guess where I made myself use it I grew to love it and I think I'm gonna try um, the other one like the newer version of this because maybe they updated it I'm not really for sure if you know let me know but um I really really enjoyed this um, after I gave it a second go sometimes you pick up stuff and you hate it and you put it down but then you forget that you have it and you grab it again and you use it and you realize that wow it's not really as crappy of a product as I thought it was in the beginning or you love something at first you put it down you forget about it you pick it back up months later and you're like god I hate this this is crap and it's kind of weird how that happens but with this it was a I hated it now I kind of love it so more than likely I'm gonna pick that up again I have two mascaras for you that I use completely up I think uh, Lisa sent me both of these as well this is the chrome by uh, Chloe Kim and Kourtney Kardashian. This is their eye um, mascara. And it came with this really, really, I love the wand. The wand was really, um, really good for separating lashes. I teamed this up. I didn't like it alone, like by itself. I always teamed it up with the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. I always put this on first and then the second coat would be the um, Kardashian mascara. I really, really like them both. I think I I don't think that I would repurchase this though. Um, I love the wand, but I wasn't really crazy about the formula because I couldn't use it on its own. Um, this I could use on its own. And I really, really loved it. And I think I would end up picking up another one of these. So I would pick up, repurchase this. I wouldn't repurchase this. That is all my empties. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned something. And I hope you found something that you might want to try out. And uh, yes, until next time, kisses and lip gloss. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Toodles.